what's going on YouTube welcome back to the channel I'm trucker Mike and I am sitting here at the new Manuka Illinois prime tanker yard or drop yard or the new terminal and I have to say this is the second time I've been here the first time I was here I was here for a very short time I just came through here to get a washout, and that was it. But I actually stayed the night last night here. I'm going to stay the night or take my break during the day here and leave tonight. So while I was here, I decided to do a little short video to give you a tour of the place. It's not very big. I mean, it's big, but it's not very big. Does that make sense? I mean, it's, it's not a it's not a small there's place. There's plenty of parking, but it's not like the terminal in Springfield or Salt Lake City. It's not that size, okay. But um, what I like about it is quiet. It's peaceful. It's clean. Which could change, you know. You know how drivers are; they're gonna throw their trash everywhere. Give give it time. But um, anyway, let's get right into it. All right, <clears throat> we're going to the Prime Manuka Tanker Yard. I just got loaded over here at U.S. Code Storage, so I'm going to go over here, and I'll leave, stay here, and I'll leave out here tonight, but I just want to give you guys a tour of the place, because it's actually a pretty cool facility. Now, I'm coming in the opposite direction, because I just loaded over here to my right at U.S. Code Storage. If we keep going straight, we're going to go directly to the... Uh, pilot truck stop there at the exit 122 on 80. Okay, so that's usually way, the way that you would come in. So it's right here on the left. about that I saw the fellow driver I knew so we're just gonna creep on they got plenty of parking here over here to the left are the clean tanker trailers but I'll give you a walking tour of the place here I'm just gonna go park they do have a 24-hour washout facility here. This is like the second or third time that I've been here. The first two times, I got here and it was only for a short time. This time I'm actually, since I'm a night driver and I drive at night and I didn't get much sleep yesterday because I worked all damn day from 2 a.m. in the morning till about 11.30 last night is when I got here. I'm going to bed here shortly after I do this video. Uh, Bay 12, I think it is. 
is the washout bay. It's the second to the last one that you can see in the corner of your video. The door, you got the very end door, that door is shut, but the door next to it that open, that's the washout bay, but you have to come in from the other side of the building. You can't go in on that side. spots to open okay this is the terminal that over there all the trailer parking over there. I think the first two rows are uh, tankers and then mixed trailers. We got parking right here which is where I'm at. seems to be where the common place for our trucks to take a break and everything. Seems like they do do tires. They got all their tires and stuff out here. There's 10 bays, I think. One, two, three. I told you guys wrong. I said Bay 12 was the wash bay. It's Bay 2, 2S. It's that bay right there. That's where washout's at. But you can't enter it from this side. You have to go around the building and come in from the other side. But that's the washout bay. They don't wash trucks here, they only do washouts. And you can see all the tankers here. Tankers on the other row. I think these two bays here, they this is where they wash out the tankers. They got that bay and that bay there. Those two bays. And then on that side of the building, that's where they work on. They do trailer repairs, truck repairs, stuff like that. And then over there, where you see those bobtails, that's the bobtail parking. So let's go inside the building and check it out. There's not much here, but it is new. Okay, that one I saw there was the break room with the vending machines. Through there is the wash bay, tanker wash. 
through that door is the shop. Uh, is the shop. Got the men's restroom. That's the conference training room. It does have laundry facilities. Through here are the offices. I don't know where the women's bathroom is. Maybe it's over here. Yep. Got the women's restroom. And that's pretty much it. I don't know if they have showers here or not. Okay, they do have showers. The showers are in the men's bathroom. There's another door inside. You go through that door and that's the showers. I don't. Peter out there, huh? Huh? That blue one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I, I, I won't drive anything else. So that's really, that's really, it's not much to this yard. It's just a simple, I mean, it's a good sized yard, but as far as amenities go, um, there's no cafe, there's vending machines. If you want food, you're gonna have to order it or get it out of the, chips out of the vending machine. Um, like I said, they um, they only do washouts. They have it. They're not washing trucks yet. They don't have a automated machine to wash the trucks. From my understanding, they do just about anything as far as repairs go for trucks and trailers. There's plenty of parking, and it just has that new terminal smell to it. <laughs> Oh, the weather today is gorgeous. So anyway, that's my tour of the new Prime Manuka tanker yard. So if you're a tanker driver, you'll be spending a lot of time up here probably. That's it. All right, that's it. That's the yard. There's really not much to it. There's, it's just one building. And um, that's it. But it's, it's a place, it's right down the street from the pilot truck stop in Manuka, exit 122 off of 80. And you know how crowded that truck stop can get. So, 
this gives us an option for places to park for a place to park to take your break because that truck stops already full if you don't get there during the day you're not getting a spot they don't have many spots to begin with so this is a very good option for this area for us to park and take our break it's good so that's it thank you for watching the video if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell when I do upload videos um, and I'll see you in the next video